Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have a pretty, pretty crazy story in regards to now cops going undercover to go and find and contact up PlayStation 5 scammers and basically scalpers to go and find them and arrest them essentially for trying to go and scam and basically defraud up their local communities. It's actually kind of a crazy story mixed on in. It's actually like a multi-part story that's been kind of been slowly been brewing up over here for apparently up in Malaysia, funny enough, where we literally do have cops now apparently going undercover just to go and find and get these people that are trying to go and sell and scam these consoles. So overall, it's kind of crazy on how we keep on seeing more and more and more crazy news in regards to people just scalping and selling and trying to go and make as much money as they can from these PlayStation 5 consoles and even the Xbox Series X and GPUs too as well. And I want to remind you guys too on top of that, please always be careful, especially now in the next like month or so with the holiday season about to go and well, kind of get ramp up to full speed. Be careful buying things. Be careful meeting with people. Don't go on Twitter and buy something from someone on Twitter. They're all scammers or even on YouTube comments too as well. And overall, please make sure you guys are safe with all of your money. I don't want to see any of you guys lose your money, especially for the holiday season. And as well, before we fully dive into this, actually kind of somewhat intriguing story. And when you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, a digital console and controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well, link down below. Sign up for Weeble, deposit $100, you guys go get free stock and free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below, and let's go dive in this video itself. So as I mentioned, we actually have a very intriguing story now. I'm going to give you guys kind of like a little bit of the preface, because this is actually what I was told from. I actually had some Malaysian friends go and actually go and tell me the story and show me the story in the first place. It has actually been in their local news, been all over the place, and just apparently kind of nuts. So there's, we actually have a few, basically we have a scammer. It's a scammer slash scalper. From everything that people have been saying, it kind of started off as a PlayStation 5, basically scalper that slowly grew into them realizing, oh my God, I don't even have to go get the initial product. I don't have to initially go and like sell these consoles. I don't have to go through the whole process of like driving somewhere or shipping them somewhere. I literally just go and scam these folks, which I do see a lot of up on like Twitter. Do not go and fall for people. Do not send people money on your cash app, Zelle, PayPal, whatever it is. They will probably go and scam you. So with all this, they kind of slowly developed into more of a crazy, like basically seller. And so what actually happens, we actually had an actual like cop, like basically a deputy go undercover, try to meet up with this person, try to go and basically set up a sting operation for them to go and sell and get their consoles. And then apparently what happened over here, this is kind of like what been translated from my, on my regard, is that they gave them the money and then the person tried to go and flee the scene and they end up getting caught and arrested because obviously like that was like enough proof for them alone that they're not actually even selling the consoles. Scalping alone by itself is bad, but this is actually a PS5 scammer now too at this point because there's no console to be had in the first place. It's like, like scalping is pretty rough, but then you're trying to go and literally just take money and scam someone and take their money from them or rob them on top of that is even worse. So let's go and talk about this story as well because you kind of have the context to mix on in. So right now, there actually is a really big kind of newspaper article over here too, which you guys can maybe see. It was funny enough even up on Facebook. So this is regards to the recent case, uh, case of the Malaysian PlayStation 5 scalper turned scammer. The director of commercial crime investigation department of JSJK under the Royal Malaysian Police, CP Mohid Karamadid, uh, Middin, which I probably said wrong, has confirmed now that a suspect has been re uh, remanded, reprimanded in uh, Pyongyang. <laughs> I'm butchering all these definitions or these words in order to assist with ongoing investigation. The suspect has provided a statement to the police in Georgetown, Penang. Apparently, the police received then at this point 26. Jesus Christ. Like, I know people are scamming. I know scammings have been ramping up these past few weeks, especially as the holidays have been getting closer. But this is ridiculous. That's so many folks, and that's only just off of the reports, let alone, like, you know, I'm sure there's people who get scammed out there and they just kind of look at their phone and wallow in sadness for about a few weeks because they kind of realize they kind of messed up on their own end. I've had a few folks that sent cash at money to other scammers and they still are trying to get their money back. And it's just is not a fun experience, experience, experience to go through overall. So as of right now, a lot of these uh, values are basically around like the 100,000 RMs. But as well, as I even kind of said, with that being said, the actual loss may be much higher, potentially around the 1.5 million mark so that's got the point of like 15 times as many scammers you go and times that by the 26 you now have hundreds of people out here who are falling and getting these fake scams mixed on in you guys can even actually go and see some of the actual facebook article from this 
or you guys can go and see like the console kind of talk on this stuff too and basically then kind of just talk about how these playstation 5s keep on getting just that they're just such a hot commodity first and foremost and i just think that these people are starting to get just a little bit too greedy I would kind of say most PS5 scalpers, and like inherently, they are a little bit on the greedier side. They're trying to make money off of a high in demand product. I, I, I get it. I always say this. It happens. It happens with everything. Like even Spider-Man tickets. We had scalpers and people trying to make money off it. Like that's just how it is. That's just how the world is. You know, it stinks, but that's how it is. But this guy takes it to the next level. We have the initial greed of trying to sell the consoles, make a quick buck. It's a hot, like, especially in these different types of countries like Thailand, Malaysia, uh, China, especially. Even Japan hasn't even been getting that much stock. And especially, especially in, like, say, like, the Philippines. It's really hard to get these consoles. Really, really hard. Same with Brazil, same with South America, and even, even, like, places like Russia. Like, there's been, like, three consoles ever sold ever in Russia. So we have these people who start off scalping, and they've been confirmed scalping, because I think they, like, had other different types of, like, say, like, eBay accounts and stuff like that. And then this is where they take it to the next level. And this is where it gets even more scummy. Because if you're out here basically going and taking money from folks, and you don't even offer them a product, like, I think that's just, I think you guys would all agree they're both bad don't get me wrong but it goes on that next 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 level it just gets even worse because this person is just trying to go and literally scam people and like at that point if you go and go through 200 plus 300 plus of these initial sales that just don't even go through what like you're just dude you're just a bad person like you're literally just trying to go and organize like a crime ring at this point which is just not fun to see. And I also had to go and Google Translate all throughout this article to go get more additional information with it. And it also stinks too, because like I said, it's really hard to find these consoles, depending on the area. Like if you're more, like we even made a video earlier on today, I'm sure you guys maybe saw it, where some locations, they just, you could just walk in the store and get the consoles. But just because like the local community just doesn't make enough money, it's hard to go and represent. But for this, like people in say Malaysia or in like Singapore, et cetera, are well off enough that they can't afford this. And this is why it's even more sketchy because even if you go and have all these contraband PlayStations or you smuggle them on in or you're trying to sell them or you buy all the stores from them, it's still at the end of the day, if you're scalping, that's bad. If you're also trying to go and literally steal from folks without giving them the actual console after they go and pay these exorbitant PlayStation scalping prices, that is even worse mix on in. So in this case too as well, this is actually a funny enough investigated under section do I, do, I, do, I, do I even have to... <laughs> the 420 of the penal code. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Which then also may lead to a jail term for this person from 1 to 10 years whipping and a fine. I'm not sure if it's, if it's maybe there's a little, you know, kinky down over in that, you know, I'm just, I'm just not saying. <laughs> and of course, the article winds down saying, in case you're wondering how this is even possible, many gamers are desperate to get their hands on the PlayStation 5 console with there being low amounts of stock available. And with Sony apparently reducing production of the console due to lack of components, among other issues, there is bound to be even more scalpers and scammers around. We'll report on this soon as more information becomes available for us now. It's best just to wait for official stock from Sony themselves. At least this way, your money will be safe and you don't have to go pay extra. So this is like a crazy story that's been developing, as I mentioned, talked about. This is nuts. You guys want to give me your thoughts and comments down below. But apparently, this I have to give some credit to the cop itself. Uh, you guys can say whatever you just want to go and say. I'm sure like some people might be like, oh, I don't, I don't know about that one, scrubbing. But it's kind of crazy. That this, per for this is like just apparently what I was told. I mean, like just, either way, we know it's true because it's like Malaysian news. The part two of like the undercover stuff, I believe is true. I think there's like a developed story that actually came out too as well. I'll double check for you guys on that. But it's kind of crazy to see if like if all this stuff is just how this whole thing happened. Like the fact that you have the police involved, you have people getting arrested, you have people getting scammed. You have like thousands, tens, tens, hundreds, maybe of thousands of dollars just being moved around, you have people losing money everywhere, you have multiple different police reports, and like, it just, it's kind of crazy that this person now, because of their own greed of trying to scalp and also scam consoles, they're not going to end up probably in jail and have to pay a huge fine and lose all that money anyway. So like, it's kind of like the huge full circle of life. Realistically, if you're going to get caught, you're like, it's not worth it. If you're going to lose money, it's not worth it. If you're literally going to end up in jail, trying to go and scheme up just a few extra dollars, it's not worth it. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, these consoles and the holidays have been driving everyone pretty much crazy. Like, it's been truly, truly kind of some crazy news all around. So you want to what, guys? Please be careful. Like, do not buy things from people on Twitter. If people message you on YouTube, if people message you on Facebook, Reddit, whatever you guys use, please be careful. Do not send people money 
Do not go and send them on Cash App and Zelle, especially. You, it's really hard to get your money back. Same with crypto, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. It's almost impossible to get your money back. So when you, do you guys deal with this stuff, please either, like if you really have to resort to scalpers, meet them at a police station, do it somewhere reputable, meet it at a bank. I don't condone it, but like if you're going to do it either way, I can't stop you. And as well, make sure you guys just don't fall scam for all these people because you guys can even see there's like hundreds of people getting affected and people are losing money and people are getting scammed. Like it's not cool. It's not fun to see. So if you guys uh, want to leave your thoughts and comments down below, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console and controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Every link down below. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get free stack and free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below, and I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Please don't get scammed. We'll see you guys in the next one.